What's up guys, Jax here at the Bullpen Training. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Stinger Nuke 2 BB Core Baseball Bat. This is a drop three alloy bat with a slightly end loaded barrel. So let's take some hacks with this baby and see what it's got. All right, first swing to the Stinger Nuke 2, baby. Let's go. Oh yeah, 75.4, nice line up in the middle. Got jammed a little bit. Really nothing felt on the hands. Uh, 79. All right. Jammed. 78.5. Didn't feel much ring at all on the hands. None of my fingers are vibrating. It's a really good sign right there. Uh, pretty good barrel. 76. Didn't burn them. Gosh, I'm burning you now. Do my revenge. Pretty good barrel. One hop, 261. Yeah. And 76 or 78.9. All right, I think that's the high. No, 79 too. That's the high with above 10. Dang it, dude. Got to get more launch angle. That's 10. That's perfect. 80.1. All right, we got 80. Jammed. 79.7. Come on. Get it right on the barrel. And 267, baby. That's a PR. One foot, huh? That was off the end. All right, one up. Let's go. Yeah. I feel like if you barrel that, that's your one. Watch, it's gonna be a nine launch angle. Eighty one point two. Come on. Ah. Oh. Dang it. All right, so Jax just finished swinging the Stinger Nuke 2, drop three BB core, it's a one piece alloy. First ranking is going to be for Exit Velo. Jax, what do you think of the Exit Velo of this bat? Um, it is a slightly end loaded bat, so it should have a little more Exit Velo. I got a PR above a 10 launch angle with 81.2. Definitely really impressive, and I really like the Exit Velo of this bat. So you have gotten a higher PR 81.7 that was what an eight degree launch angle I think right yeah what was that with the voodoo one the voodoo 81. one okay 81.6 so 81.2 is the official highest exit below because it has to be a 10 launch angle or above all right next let's get into barrel size what did it feel like if you got it off the end if you got it off the hands how much did it ring you up how much did you lose an exit below um when i got it off the end or the hands i definitely did feel a little bit of ring on the end not as much on the hands but for exit below, the performance of the end and the hands it definitely did show a lot of exit below for when i got jammed or when i got off the end so miss hits pretty good ring you up pretty good you can feel it mm -hmm. just more off than the some end, other off the just off the end okay but you felt like the exit velo was still pretty decent on a miss hit. Yep. Okay. All right, next we got the swing feel. This is obviously really important for anybody. Honestly, I would rather have a better swinging and better feel back because I feel like you will get more barrels than a little bit higher exit velo. So what do you think of the swing feel of the Stinger Nuke 2? Um, it's definitely an end loaded bat. I'm not a big fan of an end loaded bat because I'm not really a big guy. All the big guys swing the end loaded bats. So I actually wasn't a big fan of the swing feel. Okay, just mainly because it's end loaded. Yep, just now, because it's end loaded. hey, you're a big dude out there. You like end loaded bats. You're a power guy. This one's for you. That might be it, right? But he's more of a balanced guy, gap to gap guy, so he likes more of the balanced bats. All right, next we got the price of the bat. That's always a factor you have to put in there when you're purchasing a new bat. What do you think of the price of this bat? Um, for two hundred and seventy dollars, that's about a hundred dollars less than all the previous bats that I've been reviewing. So, two hundred and seventy dollars. That's definitely a check for the price. Nice, and, and price is always a factor, right? If you can save 100 bucks and the performance is pretty close, hey, might be it. Always a big shout out to Headbanger Sports for bringing us up with all these bats to do a review for you guys with. Make sure to check out right there for two-day free expedited shipping. 
And you know I love my Bruce Bolts, Jack's Bolts for 10% off your Bruce Bolts on the Headbanger Sports website. Hope this review helped you guys out. Comment down below with any questions that you got. We'll see you in the next video.